Uh, okay. Now, we've done a lot with the just qualitative reasoning about getting the directions. Uh, we want to now see if we can actually do some calculations and figure out, if we can uh, determine these induced EMFs or these induced electric fields due to these changing magnetic fields. So what we're going to be talking about again is the concept of flux. Okay, We have this path integral uh, of the electric field and then we're talking about the change in the flux bound by that path. So we, we calculated electric flux when we were doing Gauss's law. We've even seen magnetic flux when we did Gauss's law for magnetism. So let's just do a quick review of a flux calculation. Here's a surface, 3 meters by 2 meters. Here's a magnetic field that has an x component of 0.5, y component of 0.2, z0, Tesla. What's the magnetic flux? Just finding the flux. Just a little review here. We have, okay, we need a little bit of review of flux. Okay, mo okay mo we're converging on an answer here. So 1.2 Tesla meters squared. It's, remember, it's the component that's perpendicular to the area that matters, right? That's where this n hat, this dot product with the n hat comes in. So if we're looking at an area that's in the, uh, the surface is in the uh, xz plane, then n hat is pointing in what direction? Up, right? Well, in fact, there's an ambiguity here. It could be up or it could be down for an open surface, right? For a closed box, it's always pointing toward the outside. There's no outside in this case. But let's assume it's up just to make it a positive number. You have a, a surface here. And uh, your axes n hat. N hat then would be 0, 1, 0, right? And so if you're looking at the magnetic field equal to, what was it, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0? Tesla. Then B dot N hat is just going to give you 0 0.2, right? It's only, it's only the component that's perpendicular to that surface that's going to matter. So B dot N hat times the area is just going to be 0 0.2 Tesla times, uh, what was it, 3 meters by 2 meters, or 1.2 Tesla meters squared, okay? That's just the magnetic flux. We calculated the same way as we calculated electric flux on a surface. 